It was a big day for me today. Danny, uh, Argentina has won the World Cup. We are the greatest soccer team in the world. And, of course, to make my country proud, their goalie, who got the Golden Glove Award for the best defensive player, held it on his dick at his at the very biggest moment he could ever, ever, ever have, Danny. We're talking a bil- billions of eyes on him. Do you see this, Austin? Can the audience see this? Yeah, this is... He this is holds amazing. it with two hands, Danny. What do you think about his form and his face? Like, give me a The breakdown. face is what really sets it over the edge. Because right. if he was just <laughs> holding the glove, maybe yeah. people would say, the sheik in particular that's standing behind him, this, yeah. this filthy rich oil baron... Mm-hmm who uh, he's acting like he's a devout Muslim, but you know he's flying out bitches from Instagram of all course. the time. Real Sky Bree, no doubt. The Sheik and everybody else could think, maybe he's pretending he's opening a bottle of champagne here. Right. Maybe he's hosing down the adoring fans with a bottle of champagne. Right. But that stupid <laughs> lip bitey face the guy's making, you can see his eyes are crossed. That's what Dude. gives it away, that he's making a penis motion. That's and he's, right. And he's emulating jizzing all over something off screen. That's right, dude. Uh, and he he uh, will go down in history for that. And he's OK with it. That's my people. Those are the Argentinians. And I thank God for this team. And Messi is now the goat, the greatest of all time, the greatest soccer player of all time, Danny. I'm not sold on Argentine, Argentina as a soccer team here. Right. But let's just talk about this, Leo. Mm-hmm. In Argentina, Buenos Aires, is that the capital? Yes. Oh, God. Things are, I mean, it's madness today, Danny. We're talking. Is I mean, it if, safe to go outside with a child? I wouldn't say it's safe to go outside with a child. It's going to be basically a lot of boys and uh, a few girls. And uh, I don't know. Things are going to go down tonight, buddy. It's going to go wild. What do you mean there's going to be a, a few boys and a few girls? You make it sound like there's going to be sex crimes. You know what, Danny? I feel like anytime there's a giant party and there's really not enough. And, and, and you know, there's really... Uh, it's going to overtake the police force. Careful, careful what you're saying here. Okay, so the police are going to be too occupied to solve crimes involving some boys. I would say there might be some looting. Yeah, I mean, I, I would, let's go, let's, you know, maybe it's not going to be rape, but there might be some looting. I mean, if you want a new television tonight in Buenos Aires, mm-hmm. it's the night to do it. Perfect. So... Uh, all the Argentinians who couldn't afford Christmas gifts this year, they're in luck. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. We're getting Oculus Quests for everyone. Mm. We're getting PlayStation 5s uh-huh. for the whole family. PS5s. And and they go, how did you get AirPods? this? But uncle, you don't have money. How did you get this? Oh, uh, what are you throwing <laughs> at me, Austin? I said, oh, your uncle, you don't have... Oh, I don't have money. Listen. How did you do this? Please. Five PlayStation 5s? <laughs> Listen, it's a very complex economic thing. Okay. So men... Go out there yeah. wearing our flag on their backs and they yes. kick a ball into a goal. Messi, Messi. Yes. And yes. because Messi kicked the ball into the goal, yes. Christmas is free. <laughs> oh, Messi. Yeah, thank you, Messi. And because Messi kicked the ball into the goal, yes. this is your new mama. Oh, 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 she looks good. Well, she's younger. She is younger yeah. than my mama. She yes. looks even more beautiful when she's conscious. Oh. And I'm assuming <laughs> the guy just clubbed her on the head. I don't know. But I want to ask Here. you about that, Leo. It, what can you get away with crime-wise in Argentina tonight as long as you're wearing the jersey? <laughs> I think, uh, you know, they go, um, they lighten up the rules a little bit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I think there might be, you could uh, be a public nuisance. You know, I think you might be able to break a couple. What's of the windows. definition? Is that climbing up a, a flagpole? That's, exactly. That's public that's nuisance. nuisance. Yeah, I think you can go further than that. I don't think they probably have any laws against that in Argentina. Uh-huh. I maybe I'm painting with a broad brush here, but it seems to me like South America is only as good as its worst country. Mm-hmm. That's how I judge America. We're only as good as the worst state. OK, we're only as good as Kentucky or North Dakota. You think Kentucky's the worst? Well, North Dakota, maybe more. But. I, I the, all of South America is just Honduras to me. Therefore, mm. I assume that murder is like a gray area as far as being illegal or not. Mm. And I think in Argentina tonight, you can kill a guy if you're wearing the jersey. I think sex crimes might be illegal for about 48 hours. <laughs> oh too. God. I could see the death coming and be like, well, it, it was the World Cup. What do you want? He died. I mean, maybe they trample him. Maybe they hit him with a bat. Uh, we don't know, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Messi, we won. We won. Like, that's how it would be for sure. You think murder is legal as long as it involves a soccer ball? I mean, I think if the guy's wearing a French jersey, mm-hmm. 
which, you know, they did. France was very, very formidable, an amazing opponent, very strong, fast. Um, it's funny. Their entire team was basically black, too, which is funny because you know, aren't they like it's mostly it's like five percent uh, immigrants in France, mm-hmm. period. But anyway, yeah, I was going to say, how would a Frenchman ever succeed at soccer? All they do is sit around black, eating yeah. cheese and bread and right. smoking cigarettes. It's true. Yeah, they, they were all black. They weren't. Well, I guess you could. They were French, but you know what I mean? Um mm-hmm. They had to. They had to import some talent. They had to import some talent. But uh, you know, Frenchmen are just the give easiest, most cowardly fucks. They are cowardly. Like, they're like all basically the cowardly lion personified. Everybody yes. in France, they are yep. such pussies, dude. They are such pussies, and we should probably go to Paris and fuck with them in a video. Oh, I love it, dude. Wouldn't that be great? Just the most meat-headed, stereotypical take. Like we saved your asses in WW two. Oh <laughs> That's the premise, which has been done a million times, but maybe not. Wait, in YouTubers France have to gone, their face. dude. Yeah, wait, no. YouTubers have gone I mean, to Paris and done that. A, Howard Stern, that was What's one gonna, of his great wearing, bits dude? forever. What Doug Stanhope had a great there? bit on how that's a that's retarded. So funny. Doug Stanhope's bit on it was like, everybody's like, yeah, we went and saved their asses at WW2, but his bit is like, you didn't do shit. You got drunk and watched sports bloopers last night. You didn't save the French. But True. still, dude, just I think it'll be fresh if we go in to Paris and we just yeah. walk into a cafe dressed as GIs oh my and just God. like fucking smack a guy in the face with our dog tags. And we make a, we make a guy buy us a drink mm-hmm. god yeah so buy good. the buy the fucking hey, um, buy me a drink i saved your ass yeah Come i on. saved your ass personally yeah oh that's so funny we need to do that dude they're fucking they're anyway cowards, so we beat the dude. french and it was great it's been a great good day. dude good and this guy is the goalie this guy yeah in another life this guy could have been on our channel 100 percent. if soccer was not huge at all and and we we could go and fuck around at this event who do you think we're hanging out with afterward it's this, this guy. guy it's emiliano martinez does he have a wife yeah, he has a wife. You think he's cheating on her tonight? I would say there's a good chance. I think the entire team, except Messi, is cheating on her. What are the chances? And be honest with me now, Leo. They're cheating on their wives. No, no, that mm-hmm. glove disappears up a girl's cooter. That's a totally Argentinian kind of joke thing to do. They like that potty humor, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like a good dick joke. That's a good dick joke right there, you know? So, yeah, I think I think at some point he's going to be like, Messi, Messi, mira, 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 mira. And just put it up a girl's pussy. And Messi's like, stop, come on, please. He's going to fist a girl with a golden glove. Yeah, dude. And, it, and it, everybody's going to try to get Messi to see it, you know, because that's a really, the guy that yeah. deserves to see it the most. Everybody know? wants Messi's approval. Yeah, everybody does. 